Okay, so it's time to fit the aileron control linkages and I'm really glad that I didn't put the sides on while doing this step. You can see the you have to get in two washers either side of the eye bolt and you have to do that in that tiny gap and because I haven't got the sides it's pretty reasonably good access but if someone's building I would advise you to before you put in the control sticks through this main spark had it through in there you can do these eye bolts uh, with washers either side two washers each either side and just leave the eye bolts and then attach the um, and just you can just you know screw in the uh, the push rod linkages but make sure this is done before you slide it and um, install the control sticks because it can be a real pain to get to in the after that so at least even with the sides with the sides off like it's still reasonably good access I can and I did have to super glue the two go two washers together so that they stick together and uh, slide it in either side of that eye bolt so I've got to do the same on the right hand side and then the last one there is the autopilot one uh, which I don't know if it needs again the four washers I'll have to check that uh, the other ones are not that bad they all need one washer either side so it shouldn't be much of a problem for these linkages here uh, to the back for the ailerons and the same with the the other ones to the to the back of the ailerons okay so a few more updates that i've managed to things that i've managed to get done so the central console or the seat rail for the center and the outside I've installed them, uh, the plastic bit is now riveted on to the metal bit but I haven't put them onto the main spark carry through yet um, because uh, I think it'll be difficult to do the wing bolts this might have to come off maybe for when you're attaching the wings to the fuselage so um, I'll leave that I've just put in just kept rivets there so that it doesn't it will stay in position um, and these clicos don't go deep enough because it's quite quite thick with uh, with the plastic bit on top as well. So that's the center bit done. Uh, the controls have been hooked up. So you can see left stick, right stick, uh, right stick linkages, elevator all the way to the back. That's all connected up, and it's still pretty smooth. I haven't put any WD-40 on the bushings yet, so just before I finish, uh, I can put that on to get that final bit of a really smooth operation, but as it is, it's still fine. The only thing um, a little bit tricky on this is I will have to put this rivet this collar on so that uh, the especially the aileron one doesn't shift left to right, because if it does, then it will not be central anymore uh, in that hole so at some point we'll have to put two rivets in again we need to allow a little bit of lateral movement in that because otherwise then the stick will get tight again as you move uh, up as you rotate it because even though it's just rotating it might be there is probably a little bit of lateral movement when you rotate so i'll have to take care of that but so then that is coming along so the next step is to put the side skins on uh, before that uh, before putting the side skin I had to dimple uh, dimple just a few holes along this side and the same on the other side so I just used the uh, dimple die uh, on a on a handheld vise to clamp them together to just get those dimples in and um, yeah so now it's time to put the skins on marked up all the long runs here they're all deburred and stuff just need uh, a dura like as uh, every time you know when i put that together so I've managed to do the both the side skins uh, riveted on now fully and uh, next step is to install the firewall forward uh, connections at the bottom and at the a couple of spaces to be added I put the position of them there um, with the side skins a um, couple of things to note 
uh, big one obviously is the spacing for the the spar um, these two stiffening plates can be done at the same step provided you make sure this rivet is done before because otherwise you can't get access to it I think the same thing with that one there that's all be quite tight with this plate on so as long as these two rivets are done you can put this on and do it at the same time as the rest of the of the of the side skin um, the other thing is uh, there's a nut here and uh, 4.8 mil rivets three of them um, which is it's mentioned in the the older manuals but now in the more concise uh, latest this last manual is basically not shown and on the inside basically that's the attachment point for the seat belt so I've done that on both sides um, and man all this yeah, cross jigging has to be in place before you do the sides. Yeah, and um, so that was pretty much it. And yeah, there's a lot of rivets to be done, both sides, but it got done. Um, here, I think there's that. There's another uh, quite a big rib here where the some of the audio con uh, panel stuff goes on there. Uh, so that gets bolted onto the uh, or riveted onto the sides there. Uh, the knacker ducts go on these two. That's a couple of things to be done next. Um, same on this side. Yeah, the rear goes joined to the rear skin. It, it was all quite, it all quite well. And, uh, this bit here obviously that's only done when the canopy is on so I've got a nice both sides I think this is where the canopy will sit on and then I have to use seeker flex to join it before, to seal that gap before riveting it so also the other thing to be done uh, is the bottom skin the rear skin um, and also there's a small piece of skin under the landing gear box channel which I can't do it here because I'm not planning to fit the landing gear uh, in, 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 the, in this workshop I have to move it out to do that so my plan is to pull this whole thing out and do the bottom skin uh, next and also fit the firewall forward stuff uh, my autopilot servos have been shipped should arrive tomorrow so now is a good time to install install those. One goes over there, the other one sits on this bracket here. And it should be pretty straightforward without the bottom skin as well. Be good access to do that. Um, Okay, and finally I managed to install the firewall forward so as I mentioned earlier I primed and painted um, primed and still used to relax between the joints uh, on everything that's attached to the firewall uh, all the aluminium bits that gets attached to the firewall was primed the firewall itself um, it, it's made of uh, three or four stainless steel and that should be quite good it should last uh, for ages without any protection um, it's an austenitic grade of say stainless steel which is quite a high grade um, the way you can check is uh, um, is if you try a magnet you can see it, it doesn't stick so I'm pretty confident that will be fine untreated um, but everything that's attached to it is now painted so that's good this was by far the most uh, challenging part of this build so far uh, was installing this uh, firewall forward because it just seemed to be slightly bigger to accommodate because because I have built the side skins uh, both sides it just seems too tight it's kind of was flexing a little bit while trying to push it um, close to the the two braces one at the bottom and at the top 
um, yeah finally he just uh, after a bit of manipulation managed to get it done but I think for someone building I think the key thing here is um, if you don't rivet this these bottom and the side skins at the bottom then I think that will allow the firewall to sit uh, much uh, easier so I guess click off that in place before you rivet the, the side bits on uh, I didn't have that so um, when I in, 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 riveted all these bottom rivets I didn't have the firewall forward click hold in place so but it got done um, the spacer that's now provided in the kit is a shorter one it's tricky it starts from the the bottom one and finishes about here um, you'll probably be able to see it the many layers uh, so you got the spacer uh, the firewall forward itself and this cowling fastening strip so quite a lot has to go in so that's why I put in these copper glicos um, once now happy with the position I'll be able to match drill a little bit to get to the right size because four mil rivets need to go in all of these so that was quite tricky but it's done so another task uh, completed and the key thing was all these holes to line up because uh, that's where the engine mounts will go top and bottom they're all very well lined up all the rivets at the bottom are seems to be uh, fine as well access wise obviously everything here I can do the rivets from the front um, there are a few at the bottom and um, I did all of this before I put in the firewood at the bottom so Okay, so the firewall forward is pretty much all riveted in. Um, all the bottom rivets are done. The side ones. I just need to do the sides. Some of these, these two were a bit tricky to get to. So I think the, you should be doing these before you put this on. Otherwise, it's hard to get the ones there as well on the top. I still need to finish one of the rivets there, which I don't know how to get to with that old rivet in place. But apart from that, it's pretty solid now. Um, the space is all in. It's nice and neat. I think the gap is pretty good. The last hole just didn't match. And the last one, so I had to drill another one there. Um, I don't think that's going to make a difference, but every, everything else is perfectly align, aligned, so I'm not bothered of that last one. And um, there's something goes here for that battery box, so that's to be riveted. I also did the the first uh, center skins that attaches to the firewall along with the same step also pulled out the the whole thing and installed the rear bottom skin that was quite tricky um, getting that done but uh, in the end it was fine uh, so now it's time to put in the avionics i think now is a good place uh, to do that um, everything is still open the controls are still quite nice and smooth i need to fit the autopilot servos the push rods for that I need to run the fuel lines through the middle I think that they've all I think they're all included in the firewall forward kit so I'll go through that next and all the foam insulation I might try and put some insulation at the back of the firewall as well so hopefully with a few days uh, during the Christmas break I can get uh, most of that done so I guess probably this is the last video of this year so have a nice uh, Christmas and happy new year everyone bye